everyone. Here's the table that I started painting. I have two coats of primer on here right now. I think I'm gonna go in for another coat of primer. Sometimes I have to use several coats of primer before I actually paint a piece of wood or furniture. Um, it just looks better that way. See if you can tell there's a ton of brush strokes and it doesn't look perfect, but that's the primer, so that's okay. And I just have my table sitting on top of paper plates right now. And um, I think this works best because they're small and I don't have to worry about like bumping into something and dragging them away. But um, yeah, that's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna go ahead and add one more coat of primer and then I will start painting and I will show you the primer that I use here in a second. Okay, here's the primer that I use. It's the Kilts Latex Primer Sealer and Stain Blocker. I've always used this kind before any of my painting projects and I love it. It works out perfectly. Um, it is a interior exterior water based primer. So I just use a regular brush and this is what it looks like again on the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one more coat of the primer and then I will start painting. And I'm just kind of thinking that that's not going to be that much fun painting. So I was thinking about making some slip covers out of drop cloth just to slip right over the chairs to where it covers the back, the front, 
the seat part and then maybe like a ruffle around the bottom. I don't know, but I'm kind of thinking that's what I'm gonna do. And then for, don't mind my house, it's kind of a mess right now. But for these chairs right here, since they're already like scuffed up and everything, I'm gonna have my husband remove the seats and um, I'm gonna go ahead and paint these because painting this part won't be as hard as all the tiny little slots. So I think I'm just gonna paint these two white and then these four I'm going to make slip covers for. So I hope it all turns out the way I see it in my head. So we will see. because I just thought that making little ties would be easier. So I took the, the hemmed piece of the fabric and cut that off of the drop cloth. And right now I'm just going to sew, I'm just going to sew them like right about here and here and here, well, you guys get the idea. I'm just gonna sew them onto the back so I can tie it once it's on the chair. Stone and on and on, turning heads to see the colors. It goes on and on and on and on. Stranger says he'll regret his art.
Okay, so here is the paint that I'm going to be using to paint my table and chairs, and it is called Whisper White, and it is by Bear, and the finish is a satin. So I'm going to go ahead and put one coat on tonight, let it completely dry, and then I'll put another coat on tomorrow. So right here I am just using a really soft block sander and I am just distressing the table and I like to wait until my paint has dried for at least 24 hours and then I will take this furniture crayon and I will distress the wood applique as well. So here is what the table and chairs look like before and here is what it looks like when I am all finished. I still have the other two chairs to paint but um, yeah the table is finished, my chair covers are finished and I think it turned out really pretty. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did I would love it if you leave me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Bye!